trip, if you want to talk a little bit about the Warriors minority owner Mark Stevens. Oh yeah, you know he he he, he you know he changed his energy up since uh, the NBA Finals when he when he thought it was cool to start pushing uh, Kyle Lowry when he fell into the uh, to the stands and not on him, you know, a couple of seats down. And he thought it was cool to, you know, to get in and start getting in the mix with, with Kyle Lowry. It was an ugly incident, you know, put a stain on the, on the finals because you never want to want to see that, you know what I'm saying, especially coming from an owner of an NBA franchise. Um, but, you know, supposedly he's been, you know, reaching out to Kyle Lowry to try to apologize to him. Um, he hasn't really gotten a response as of yet. Uh, from Kyle Lowry. I don't know if he ever will get a response out of Kyle Lowry, but I mean, I guess it's cool that, I mean, he's tried, made the effort to apologize, but it's just something that shouldn't happen. So, you know, if, if I was Kyle Lowry, maybe I might listen, but there's a, probably a better chance that I just be like, I really just don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not about, because you, you're a grown man, you know, you know, you should know already. So and if that's the kind of person that you are, I don't think that this event that it you know changes you from being I think that you know that's still that's still in him so I I probably wouldn't so I get it but you know whatever I applaud him though he he, he did try to make amends Man, your man's was drunk your man's was drunk let's call yeah. it what it is he was drunk <laughs> you know what I'm saying he had he had a couple too many and he he was feeling himself at Corsa and that's you know but I, I do um you know I respect the fact that he's trying to reach out and apologize but again, if you're Kyle Lowry, I mean, you already won the ring. We don't need to talk about anything else right now. So. Yeah, yeah, you got exactly. The ring. And he's out of there, so <laughs> we all good. <laughs> yeah, no, I think uh, obviously, you know, he did the mature thing. He needed to apologize. Apologize. It was very clear cut as to what happened. So he had no choice. <laughs> he now, was full of M, M as, as as someone who you you're approaching veteran status of sitting courtside, would you ever push a player? If he happened to, you know, step step on your step on your shoes or knock over your drink, he already did. <laughs> First off, <laughs> are so funny. I I absolutely would not. I would be too busy being excited, sitting courtside and watching the game. So no. <laughs> so if they spill the drink on the red bottles, you ain't setting it off. No, because there's more where that comes from. You're like nah. <laughs> <laughs> No, accidents happen, so it's fine. You're not a thug no more, Em. You used to be a thug, you know, changed, turned your life around. I respect it. Thug life still tatted on my <laughs> chest, but, you know, we'll talk about that another day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Smush Parker here, formerly up to the Los Angeles Lakers, and you are now tuned in to Real Fans Real Talk. Real fans, real talk, we as real as you thought. Real 